know if we're necessarily famous. Um, but I mean, at, at this point in the game, we get we get some free stuff every once in a while hooked up with free T-shirts and shoes. Yeah, that's probably that's, the biggest uh, benefit. Yeah, that's that's probably about it. You know. Yeah. Um, free Nikes, which is probably my favorite thing. Yeah. Get the royal treatment. Kind of. I don't know if it's the royal treatment, but uh, you know, people are nice enough to hook us up with uh, complimentary things sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just... Seems like things are only getting better. Not really. I mean, it's kind of like. It was always the understanding that um, if a band got um, to a certain level on, on drive through that um, the MCA was effective at the time, they would kind of like uh, take them from there. Yeah. And then when we got to that level, um, MCA kind of took us, that's just kind of the way it was. It wasn't like we really wanted to you know, go there. Was just... We kind of welcomed it and took it as, I don't want to say a promotion, but um, a chance to get our music heard by more yeah. people. Yep. And um, you know, MCA was cool for the for the month we were on it, and then it turned into Gavin. And, and, uh, yeah, you know, in, in retrospect, it wasn't the coolest thing, but you know, uh, we definitely learned from it. When it seems like things are only getting better. We were, you know, let go from our Gavin deal, <coughs> and we were pretty much free agents. We were able to meet with whoever we wanted. We met with the labels, um, and we met with uh, the people at Virgin actually in Rhode Island, and. Oh, and just had a great vibe, and it was kind of a no-brainer to design a version. Um, so I kind of just got the um, like the sense that maybe um, Wikipedia might have been wrong in saying that did you that you requested to be taken off the Geffen? Oh, yeah, yes. you did. We definitely requested. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we begged. begged. Wikipedia well, was right. <laughs> yeah, they were definitely right. for once. Yeah, yeah, they were they were kind enough after some convincing uh, to agree to let us go. Always, I mean, yeah. we always enjoyed playing music, and I think that's one of the reasons why we really wanted to get signed so that we could, we could do it, um, you know, yeah. uh, more often. Um, but with getting signed, I mean, they get your CDs out there, so yeah. with that happening, you get kids singing along, which is even, even better. Yep. So, um, I guess being signed has been kind of a, not a bad experience for you guys. Not nah, great. Because some bands, I know, like, they, they have bad experiences, and they just, like, I think it's uh, some, some band that I've interviewed before have said that like, it's not a good like, experience. For them. I mean, I guess it all depends on what record label you're on, but I mean, to be signed or not be signed, like, I'd rather have music be heard by people yeah. and be able to tour and, you know, be able to sell merch and things like that and make this my livelihood. Right. right. Yeah, yeah there's, I mean, there's, there's no way we'd still be able to tour eight years into it if we were never on a label. Right. No help. There's no help. You. <laughs> yeah. You'd stop to death and we'd be homeless. Say it like you mean it was uh it was just one of those things we were at a really positive point in our career we were really excited that we had gotten signed that we had the chance to make make a record yeah. especially make a, a record on such a great label with Mark Trevino um, so I think we were just all super super green and you know I don't want to say naive but we just you know had no idea what would happen after that record was released um, based on true stories a little bit darker yeah based on true story was um I was coming off say like you mean it and that was right when Geffen kind of took over MCA right. and nobody really kind of understood what we were about um, or cared. Um, so it's kind of depressing and all we really wanted to do was to make a record and go back out on tour and the powers that be at Geffen just you know weren't having it the direction we were trying to go they just you know wanted us to make a cookie cutter record just like a no-brainer and they ended up keeping us off the road for like 15 months and we got kind of depressed and, record kind of came out and kind of reflected the whole experience. But I love the record, it's, just, it, it's definitely a lot darker than yeah. Yeah, I think this record has definitely come full circle. It's more optimistic, we're at a really good place. Um, and I don't know, we just feel good about it. It's, yeah, we're all, we're all positive, we're all in great spirits. And we have Brian Schmutz just on the ivories, yeah. all up on it. <laughs> so were you almost sort of like um, forced to write kind of record and wrote for face like a face uh, I mean they tried to force us to write a record and we did everything in our power not to. Yeah. Um, and kind of ended up with songs like Inspired by the Dollar Sign and Ready. Yeah. And they were the last two songs that were written for that record as they were trying to force us to write pop songs. Yeah, this isn't really a question but I really admire bands that like write about their experiences and like but things things like go um like tipsy or whatever and just write about it, you know, put out music that reflects that. Yeah. I think totally. that's really cool. Uh, it's, it's the both. 
this that I get to play against, but it's just the bad and all the drugs. Really, you know, paper drugs anyway. <laughs> But is that, is that as deep as it goes, or is there more yeah, to I mean, it? I mean, I'm, I'm married and I have two kids. Yeah. <coughs> we get to play songs that we created together every day. Yeah. And that's pretty much the coolest thing anybody could ever ask. Like, my whole entire day revolves around the fact that I'm going to play for an hour and 15 minutes tonight. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Yeah, that's great. Turn up, show, choose, stray. He, he was saying that before the next video he's going to get a haircut. Oh, to, really? It's going to be a surprise. Another one? But, but yeah, he's, he's a, <laughs> his own man. He's Ball, <laughs> Ball is beautiful. I think he has fun with the fact that fans kind of get upset about it. I was growing my hair. The new Bravery record, I was too lot. Yep. Um, battles. You're strong, I'm obsessing over it. Really? Yeah. Like, I, um, I don't know, I haven't much of them lately. Yeah, yeah. They're from around here. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And I'm like, half an hour from this, but I haven't been using them. Yeah, it's yeah. great. It's, it's absolutely hardcore. amazing. Yeah. Like, like, hardcore pop. Yeah, yeah, it's pop hardcore. With, like, little metal, like, breakdowns yeah, and, like. Totally. It's really good. Yeah, I'm not a huge hardcore fan, but it's pop. It definitely, it's definitely poppy enough. Yeah. You know? So, uh, definitely Four Years Strong. Yeah. And uh, I've been listening to that new Jimmy World song, Big Casino, on repeat non stop. How was that? Uh, I wouldn't make it really. It uh, came out on iTunes, I guess, like two weeks ago. It's just a single? It's just a single. Oh, I gotta get that. But it rules. Yeah? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so that's every year? Right? Yeah, that, that's right now. Yeah. I actually just lost my iPod, so I'm not listening to anything over iPod right now. <laughs> well, I just bought the 80 gig and I lost it. Uh, oh, so wow. it wasn't yeah. much on there. Any fans want to buy time an iPod? Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. saw they're only 250 now for the 80. Starting line likes iPods, so. uh, vitamin water, <laughs> computers, computers. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to buy a new charger for my computers. I lost that too. I dug out the uh, the Death Cab album Plans. Yep. I've been listening to that a lot, and uh, this band called the Minor Times from home, like Mathy. And uh, the Kanye West song, uh, Can't Tell Me Nothing. <laughs> uh, I've been rocking that, that song the new so one? hard. It's, it's the one with Zach Galifianakis in the video. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, the one where he's wearing the glasses in the video? Oh, uh, it's stronger. I don't even yeah. like rap, but I like Yeah, that's an awesome song. Cool. There's three awesome bands on the table. <coughs> Three awesome bands, including us. I'd like to think they were pretty awesome. If if you want to be presumptuous, and call ourselves awesome. Let's be presumptuous. We hope we're awesome. You guys are awesome. But Thanks, two man. awesome bands and a band that we will try awesome. really hard to be awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, kind of more shreds. Yeah. They're little. Yeah. They're little. <laughs> they're young, but they're so good. And we're gonna play awesome shows for. You know, Long stretch of time. All those shows are going to be packed. Yeah. yeah. Who else is on the tour besides you? The, um, the almost is on oh, yeah. most of it. Somebody's got to miss. <laughs> yeah. Stay at home, mom. <laughs> I would be a stay at home mom. Yeah, take care of my kids. Make my kids jealous. I'd be a hustler. <laughs> a hustle shit. I don't even know what I would hustle. I'd be a pimp. I'll hustle everything. <laughs> Drug dealer. <laughs> nice. Okay. High inch. Just coke. Yeah. Just like Maryland. keys. Like, tons of keys. Like oh yachts. I want to be like the three card money guy, like on the streets in New York. Just take everybody's money and fucking yeah, you know, bail for twenty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a little, a little nut under the cup. Yeah, yeah. The dude from Mo Money. <laughs> yeah, exactly.